Over the last few years, I have given hundreds, if not thousands of golf lessons. And there's one major thing that all golfers seem to want to do. Hit this better, hit this longer and hit it straighter. There's also one huge mistake that I see so many golfers do. That's why we are bringing you this in today's video on Get Good at Golf. Hi everyone, my name's James. This channel is Get Good at Golf. We aim to help you get good at golf one day at a time. So the big mistake that I see so many golfers make with this exact club, with this driver, is the sequencing in transition and in the downswing. Now we all want to hit long balls. We all want to hit bomb balls off a tee and smash it past all of our friends. But how do we do that? So many golfers think, you know what, I'm going to try and hit this as hard as I physically can. And a lot of male golfers especially think that that involves the upper body, it involves the biceps, the triceps, the chest, when actually it involves the biggest muscles in the body, which is down here, which is your legs, which is your glutes. And we need to think about how we are going to sequence the downswing. So how do we do that? How do I stop coming from the top with my shoulders? Because you can have the world's best backswing, but the world's worst downswing. Obviously, we hit the ball during the downswing. We hit the ball at impact. So if I start the downswing with my upper body, you'll see how that looks completely wrong. My legs haven't moved. Golf is an athletic motion. So if I was going to try and throw a golf ball, say I want to throw this ball as far as I physically can, you watch my lower body here. That is exactly how I'm going to throw a ball as far as I can. I don't think I'd have made it in baseball, Chris, do you? No. No. But you see what we're trying to do there? We're trying to start the downswing or we're trying to start the throw with the lower body. A baseball pitch unwinds there and then rotates the upper body afterwards. A boxer would do the same. They would start with the lower body, then throw the punch at you. Every athletic moment is very, very similar. So I want to do exactly the same in the golf swing. I want to make sure that from the top of this backswing, I start with a rotation into my lower half there. You'll see that that actually brings the shaft on a much better plane. If Chris moves round the back here, you'll see that we want to get this ball going straight, if not a tiny draw. If we start hitting big, horrible slices, not only is that going to rob you of ball speed, it's also going to impart much more spin on the ball. It's going to be a glancing blow. If the club works across the shot here, the ball's going to set off this way and glance over to the right side of the fairway, or in this case, in the water. So it's actually going to cost you money by not doing what we say here at Get Good at Golf. So what's a good drill for this? How can I think about starting the downswing with a better sequence and hitting longer drives? All I want to do is, from the top of the backswing, feel my weight move into my left heel. So I'm not thinking left foot, I'm not thinking left side, left heel. What does that do? That brings my hip back down and it starts the downswing with this part of the body here. From there, the club drops inside and it allows me to create a more powerful, more structural and more consistent golf swing. So hopefully it looks something like this. I'm gonna start this at the water and try and draw it back by having the right sequence in the downswing. You can eliminate one side of the golf course by doing this, and that's something which a lot of good golfers can do. Sequence. Again, that is one of the best drives I've hit in a very, very, very long time. That's literally perfect. And that's because I'm starting to do what we're trying to help you to do by getting good at golf. Guys, that for me is something that I've seen through hundreds, if not thousands of lessons. Now, Chris is going to throw something at you, which to be honest, you're going to want to hit that like button for. So James has just covered there about the lower body. So when we're talking about sequence, guys, we need to think about where it starts. So it's starting from the ground up. Everybody says you need to start from the ground up, which is correct. It's in the feet. So we need to have a stable base to start with. Top of the back swing, we're going to feel like this lower body starts to go first, then the upper body, then the arms and then the club is released and that's where again we're using lever systems to generate as much speed as possible so like james said in his points earlier a lot of people get to the top and it's all arms it's all upper body we've got no lower body movement and you can see what that does and people say oh everybody talks about lag oh, i need some lag to get distance so what do people do with that they don't know really what they do from here they try to get lag so they hold the angle right i'm holding the lag on i'm holding this i've seen it on tv you need to keep that angle off look where the face is pointing that's not going to help us and james shows us where that is pointing 
that's where most people find themselves. In the tunnel. In, in the tunnel, in the trees, not where we want to be. So we've got to think, how do we get a little bit of lag? And what I want you to do is think about how loose we're gripping that, but then also how loose your arms are during the swing. So I want to feel like we're very relaxed in the arms. If I'm starting that downswing with the lower body, I want to feel that my arms stay connected to my chest for longer. So once I'm here, this bicep is sticking to my chest. So I'm feeling like that stays on longer. My arms are going to feel loose. You can see the club actually drops a little bit behind me. So if James comes around here now, as I start down and my arms stay to my chest and stay relaxed, you'll start to see that that club will start to make this kind of motion, which is shallowing out, which is going to help us get that path a little bit more neutral, if anything, out to the right. Then we're able to release that club head. So then coming into the golf ball, I'm able to then feel like, right, I can let my hands release with the turning body, and that's gonna generate plenty of speed down at the golf ball. Again, the last part is the club head gaining speed, which is letting that club head release. If we use the arms and we keep the angle, we're not getting the speed out into the club head. If we don't get the speed there, we're never going to hit the ball as far as we possibly could. You might put loads of effort in, like I see from a lot of people. They get to the top of the back swing, it's all tense. We throw the arms and hands at it. That's giving it everything. Although that is a ridiculously good Healy shot, that's probably lost me 50, 60 yards. I've put a lot of effort in there. We're breathing heavy. But then we get down there and the playing partners have hit it past us. So all I want you to think is James has got to start in that downstream with the lower body. Now what I want to do for you is feel like your arms are very loose. They're very loose, they're staying to your body, and we're going to generate some lag. If we get some lag, we can then generate more speed out into the club head speed. And then from there, we're going to be able to hit those high draws that James mentioned earlier. So feel like your arms stay to your chest, nice and loose. And that has launched extremely high, a nice high towering draw. And I think it might it's have gone great past James. Shot. I think it might have just got past James there. But you can see very loose and relaxed with the arms, guys. So we start it with the lower body, but the final bit of the sequence is getting the speed out into the club head. We need to keep that left arm feeling more connected to that chest in the downswing. And then we can really release that club down into the golf ball and start to launch it higher with lower spin and help you get good at golf. Guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that and we'll see you again at the same time tomorrow. Can we just have a little hat off for those drives that we've, like, Unbelievable. we haven't been playing well either, so we're, we're getting good at golf by helping you get good at golf. Even the miss it was good. Very good. See you tomorrow. The annoying thing is, Chris, I think you may have just done me as well. There's no thinking, we both know. But, two great drives. So now we're going to film a video on what, Chris, for them? We're going to be talking about what we see all the tour pros do and the amateurs don't with your eyes. Subscribe if you want to see it.